recording. What we have here is the input drum and the, in, and the piston for a 4L60, 4L60E transmission. And uh, what we're going to do is uh, this lip seal on here seems to be quite a booger to get it installed. Uh, it will not go down in there by itself very easily. Um, I've been trying to use this feeler gauge to get it in there and I've been very unsuccessful at that. I've destroyed two different lip seals because the feeler gauge quite easily uh, digs into this rubber when you're fighting with it and uh, I had to order a new set. I have a different method I'm going to be doing here today. Uh, I've done it once and it, and it worked well and hopefully on, for this video run it's going to work well today too. That remains to be seen. So what I have here is uh, tin cans that I've cut up. It's uh, very thin metal. I'm not going to use that one. That was for the centerpiece. I'm not even going to use that one today. We're going to try this. So what I'm doing is I'm putting transmission fluid on these tin cans. And they're going to be like my shoe spoons and my shims. And uh, just go ahead and set those in there. I don't believe I'm going to use this one either. Try not to cut yourself on the skin. Three cans is what I'm shooting for here today. So that's one, two, and threes right here. The reason I'm, another reason why I'm lubricating on both sides is because after this gets in, you have to get the, you have to get them out, and it's tight. So, that's why the transmission fluid helps for that. Okay, what I have is, uh, literally fell in, crooked, but it fell in. Um, they're overlapping, three pieces. I've got them pushed down. And now I'm going to try to push this piston in. time without the center one in. There. It's cleared it. It's down in the bore. Uh, now what's left is to take my shims out without pulling the piston out. There's one. There's three. There we go. She's in and she's not damaged this time. No feeler gauge. I uh, hope this helps you out. I hope you have get your piston in effortlessly and, and uh, thanks for watching.